Jeff Supon, the Cardinal pitcher, first up. Eckstein and Preston Wilson will follow him to the plate. 2 0 St. Louis out in front. And Supon just winked out at Steve Traxel. Takes a strike. It's what a 2 0 lead will do for you. There it is again. The 0 1 pitch from Traxel. Nothing in two. Looks even worse in slow motion. It's that confidence. That's right. That's right. Subban had 12 hits during the regular season, 55 at bats. And the count stays 0 2. Traxel trying to regroup, had a long first inning. Twenty eight pitches and now trying to start this second by retiring Jeff Supon another 0 2 pitch and Supon hits it to deep left Chavez back this ball is gone for a home run Jeff Supon goes deep and it's three nothing St. Louis. Once a curtain call, Eckstein takes a strike over the outside corner. This, you can almost now start to put a video package together of these near catches by the Mets, whether it was last night with the ball in right by Sean Green. Or the ball hit by Spezio tonight again that bounced in front of Sean Green and came up and hit him in the chest. He missed it, missed it by inches. And now Supon getting one literally off the top of the padded fence out and left, bouncing into the bullpen. And Chavez almost made a great play on that because most pitchers you're usually playing in. He ran back and got a good jump on and just barely uh, missed that ball. Three balls and a strike now on Eckstein. So Traxel is about to compound his problems if he can't settle down after the home run by Supon. That's a strike and the count's full. Now a walk from Traxel. That is walk number four for Steve Traxel. And Preston walked and scored back in the first. How often is it that a major league crowd picks up on a balk? <laughs> you can hear the, the, the crowd going, ooh, 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 when Traxel threw over to first base. Now Wilson hits one off Traxel's leg. He's in pain. Eckstein goes first to third. Still nobody out, and Traxel's limping around. Pujols hit a breaking ball into right his first time up for a single. Scored a run on the triple by Spezio, and a check on Preston Wilson at first. Still nobody out in the inning in first and third. Pools. Over but low ball one. The Mets have not fared well. The last 15 times they've played the Cardinals here in St. Louis, they've lost 13 of those 15 games. Including two of three earlier this year. Excuse me, Joe. Traxel stepping off, worried about Preston Wilson. He's got the emphasis on the wrong syllable. the count 2 and 0 on Pujols who were over to first base once you've got Pujols the batter and that's the the distractions that Louie and I were talking about earlier that being so deliberate when he works from the stretch Willie Randolph before the game saying he's better at that but still the, these distractions just get in the way well pitchers are creatures of habit I mean you try to change them sometimes but they're always going to go to what they feel comfortable with A 
it's 3 and 0 and Traxel hasn't come close with Edmonds on deck and there is no activity for the Mets out in their bullpen. Aaron Oliver is standing there and I would imagine he would be the first one to get the nod. And that may come here soon. walk that's five by Traxel and reinvented by Tony La Russa down the stretch with names like Kenny and Johnson Wainwright the closer and they have with help from others gotten the job done to give you an idea of what an improvement that is the Cardinals were 14th in the major leagues their bullpen was ranked 14th this year and here they are with a, a terrific postseason thus far. And on the other side, the Mets number one in the National League with a 3.25 bullpen ERA. Here's Edmonds. Bases loaded, nobody out. Ball one from Darren Oliver. Predominantly a starter throughout his career. Oliver is a former Cardinal. Very good athlete, good hitter, and he will bat second when the Mets come to the plate in the top of the third inning. Pitching out of the bullpen and right into the action here in the second. And this one gets away from Loduca to score extra. It's four to nothing. Now they're ruling it a wild pitch. Everything that Darren Oliver throws will go away from a left-handed hitter. He does not have a two-seam fastball to come back inside on left-handers. More of a cutter, and that cutter gets away from Loduca. And Eckstein scores easily, moving up the other two runners. Edmonds rolls one to first. Coming to the plate is Wilson to score. It's 5-0. Even with the infield in on that bouncer by Jim Edmonds, Preston Wilson ready to run, and he scores without a play, 5 zip. <laughs> Ball one, again, we'll say it and give you the numbers. His postseason career now 15 of 21 with runners in scoring position. He has Pujols at third and one out. And a 1 1 count. Here's the postseason profile for Spezio 25 RBIs in 21 career games. The postseason tournament 15 for 21 with runners in scoring position and 19 RBIs in the 2002 postseason. Things in that one slot away to left handers inside to right handers. So if you're a right handed batter, forget about the outside part of the plate because everything's coming in. Infield is in 2 1 pitch off the end of the bat 2 and 2. even put it on the announcers. I'm not the only one. He got Trotsky over there, too. You guys are pretty good looking with those things. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Leon Trotsky, one of my favorites. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at third, one out. Spezio hits a short hopper to second. Pujols coming down the line, but holding two down. Good pitch. See that bottom line there grew up in Indiana and was recruited by Bobby Knight to play basketball at IU. Terrific athlete Scott Rowland waits for the first from Oliver. He takes a ball. Boy this is definitely not the way the New York Mets wanted to start this game out especially after last night the way that game ended and to start the game out like this they have to try to reach down here and try to get a rally started. 
get something going to generate some excitement in their dugout again because right now they're thinking we can't have anything else go wrong the way last night ended and the way the start of this game has started for us. And on top of that, I think it starts with Oliver getting out of this right now and not allowing a two out RBI by rolling. <laughs> Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, Oliver, who throws a lot of cut fastballs in on right-handers, if he can get out of this, they got to go back into the dugout and say, okay, we gotta, we've got we limited our damage here to five runs. We've got plenty of game left. we got to try to manufacture runs any way that we can. Roland on the other side is one for his last 30. In the postseason, he is dying for an RBI hit. And he rips one down the line foul. Out in front of it just a bit, and the count evens at two and two. Again, inside and rolling out in front. Up the middle, Oliver knocks it down the inning right there so the Cardinals get three after scoring two in the first and it started with a home run by Jeff Supon he went got a Traxel he must have known something five nothing Cardinals after two